Yusenia, this is my channel and I'm going to show you guys my April favorites. So to begin with, this is a Himalayan salt lamp behind me. I absolutely love it. My boyfriend bought it for me at Home Goods, and then I also bought two online on Amazon that have dimmers which are really nice for my job. I love them. I love to put it on at night or even during the day while I'm here. Himalayan salt lamps have so many benefits and I just I just love how relaxing it makes me feel. For whatever reason, it just makes me so feel it makes me feel so relaxed at the end of the night. I love putting them on. I love putting it on at work. It just makes the room very zenful and it also brings up the a higher vibration into the room. So if you want to have a uh, more a higher vibration in your room definitely put Himalayan salt lamps in your room I love it it's beautiful Himalayan salt lamps cleanse and deodorizes the air it reduces allergy and asthma symptoms increases energy levels it neutralizes the air from negative ions to positive ions reduces stress better sleep improves mood and concentration reduces static electricity in the air Environmentally friendly, I spelled friendly wrong here, light source, and supports the immune system. Himalayan salt lamps have so many benefits. It's so good for you. It has positive and negative ions in the room. And it's just a really nice piece to put anywhere in your house or your home. So the next thing I have on my list for an April favorite is Angel Medicine. I literally only have one more chapter this is where i'm at i'm going to finish it today angel medicine is by doreen virtue and this is such a great book i'm really pushing myself to get into reading again i have so many books but now every time before i go to sleep i will read and then any other free time that i have to read so i absolutely i absolutely love this book it was so good during Virtue talks about her travels in the beginning and then she talks about all these different angel stories that people have healing stories if you guys are into angels and God and all different types of things like that uh, it's had it's a very good book it's how to heal the body and mind with the help of angels I really 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 enjoyed this book and I read it pretty quickly and in the book she goes to Greece and then she goes to England and she goes to different places so I definitely recommend reading this book it is the key to life just kidding well it could be the key to life but in this book I started watching sunsets now with my boyfriend and we'll try it any day as much as we can to go watch the sunset because it helps with Activating the lower chakras, your root, no, your sacral and solar plexus, mostly your sacral uh, plexus chakra, which is the orange chakra. So she talks about the different chakras in here a little bit, and then the angels tell her to, to go watch sunsets because it helps lower, it uh, helps the lower chakras, and it helps with insomnia because you are out in nature, vibrating with nature, going back to your natural rhythms. So I love that. I love going to see the sunset now and uh, the color of the sun when it sets is orange so it is correlates with the sacral chakra and I just love it. I love seeing the sunsets. I love and it's making me more aware of how I'm not outside as much, you know, like to it also talks about the sunrises too, but I'm not a morning person to wake up at 5:30 in the morning to go see the sunrises. Maybe eventually we'll see how that goes, but I love the sunsets and also talks about going outside during the moon and stars, which I also love to do too, but I'm really making it a point to go out to see the sunsets and I love it and it just, it's just a good thing to do with somebody or by yourself to connect with nature. Angel, that is the Angel Medicine book by Doreen Virtue. I'll link every damn thing. I will, I will link everything down below of where I got these items or somewhere to get the, any of these items. My next, my next item is this beautiful Pacifica nail polish. Pacifica is a cruelty free brand. Most of my stuff, almost 90% of my stuff is cruelty free. I bought this in Sprouts, it's a supermarket out here in Arizona and it's 20, number 22 pale blue eyes 22 
pale blue eyes that is what it's called and that is what I have in my hands it's a beautiful pale blue color I also have it on my toenails and I just really love the color I've been wearing this color a lot my next favorite that I've been starting to use again is my homopathy medicine Homopathy is the treatment of disease by minute doses of natural substances that in a healthy person would produce symptoms of disease. Homopathy is a based on energetics and this one I got is Arnica Mo Montana. It's for muscle stiffness, muscle pain and stiff, it's for muscle stiffness and pain, for swelling with, from injuries, and discoloration of bruising. I love homopathy. I had a woman tell me one time when I worked at Wild by Nature in New York, it's a organic supermarket, tell me all about homopathy and how it cured three cancers for her. In my acupuncture school, they do teach, they do have a homopathy program. So it's just something I'm really interested in. And you take five pellets and you just twist it to get the pellets and then the pellets are really really tiny as you could see in here and they taste like little sugar and you just put them under your tongue and they dissolve and you want to take it three times a day and it's supposed to help with whatever one that you buy um i really haven't noticed anything yet but i haven't also been having it consistent but yeah i just wanted to show you that another favorite that i got is this beautiful love necklace that I got from my boyfriend for our anniversary. It's really, really cute. And he, all, he bought it for like our anniversary and Easter gift. And it's just a really cute little bracelet, bracelet that says love. And it's in the shape of a, a little heart. The L is in the shape of a heart. My boyfriend bought this at the BX at the military base because he's in the military. So I won't be able to link that below, but maybe I'll find something similar to it to link. The next item up is this beautiful NYX eyeshadow that I have. I am so obsessed with this eyeshadow. It is the color Nude nude Diafa Diaphane. I don't know, it's a weird thing. But it's the eyeshadow that I use every single day for the most part. Um, it's also cruelty free. I love anything that's glittery, shimmery, and kind of looks like a gold look. Another favorite of mine is this blue bottle that I showed you guys in my other video of what I bought in Sedona. I love this bottle. It's my water bottle. I just love it. I love the color of it. I love the design on it. In front of it, it has sacred geometry that I'm really into. And I just really love the theory or the science behind this bottle. And Blue is the color of the throat chakra. It can help bring about the expression of one's creative power while bringing you to a state of peace and holistic balance. When humans are surrounded by beauty of, or bathed in the deep blue color of cobalt blue glass, we experience more restful sleep, greater states of peace, relaxation, rejuvenation, and more articulate communication. The same is true for the consciousness and structure of water. When one considers that we are 99% water by molecular count and 75% by mass, then it makes sense to treat our drinking water as the blue solar water divine, harmony, sacred, life-giving, mind-expanding substance it is. By carrying it in such a beautiful, precious vessel as a cobalt blue glass, we not only honor and bless our water, but it is also a constant reminder to be conscious, conscious conscientious of our own sacred vessel of water, our bodies. And I just love it. It's a glass bottle. It's not plastic, so it's better for you to drink out of glass than plastic. And I just really love it. It's so pretty, and I bring it with me everywhere, even though it can get a little heavy when it has water in it. But I love it. And the last thing that I got from... The last thing that's my favorite on April, fav my last April favorite is a lemon tree that my boyfriend bought me. 
and it's so cute. He bought it from Home Depot. I'll show a clip in here. pieces of jewelry that I bought in Sedona if you look at the I'll link down the video below uh, what I bought in Sedona this is my selenite necklace that I bought to help protect me and it keeps away negative energy selenite has so many benefits and I just love this necklace and I usually wear it to work with me I just love it. I love the way it looks and it's just really uh, cute and it's a crystal and I love crystals if you've watched my videos before. If you haven't, go check them out. Selenite cleanses and charges other crystals. It can connect one to angelic realm. It builds a psychic gift of clear audience. It cleanses the aura, stimulates brain activity. It constantly radiates divine light and absorbs to toxic and negative energy and transmutes it back into light. My favorite food would be these maki ice cream balls. They are so delicious. I bought them in Trader Joe's, so go try them. They're amazing. A goal of mine that I have for this month was to get organized. I wanted to get organized. I am not the most organizational person, so I organized my refrigerator yesterday. I want everything more to be like a systematic way and I organized my closet and my next project is to organize my backpack because I just have all my school papers in there and I'm gonna put everything in folders and everything so that would be my goal for April and I would say my, I also have a favorite affirmation that I had this month is my affirmation is all is well I am working towards to being more positive I'm usually a positive person, but I'm working more towards my affirmations and what I'm thinking in my head and bringing it into po more positive intentions and being more thankful for what I am thankful about, whatever it is through that day. I, um, so all I keep saying is all is well, all is well throughout the day or whenever I remember and to start to attract those types of vibrations back and to be a more happier, positive person. So. I hope you guys enjoy that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what your April favorites are. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and other kinds of videos. I have a lot of video ideas coming up. And I really hope you guys have a happy first May. And the light in me honors the light in you. Namaste.